What if I told you that Samsung's most expensive phones in 2025 might still take almost an hour to charge, while cheaper phones from rival brands are already doing it in half that time or less? Yep, that's exactly what just got confirmed, and fans are not gonna be happy. The Galaxy S26 series is finally certified, and there's good news, bad news, and one very real frustration that's sparking debates across the tech world. Welcome back, everyone. Sam here. Glad to have you here for another deep dive into the future of Samsung's next big thing. If you're new, make sure to hit like, share this with a friend, and subscribe so you don't miss the upcoming leaks we're going to talk about. You're going to want to stick around for this one. Let's start with the shocker, the charging speeds. For months, leaks have been all over the place. Some insiders hinted at 65W charging, others claimed Samsung was finally preparing to jump into the super fast charging race like its competitors. There was a sense of hope that 2025 would be the year Samsung finally broke the cycle. But now, thanks to an official certification from China's CQC, we know the truth, and sadly, it's not the good kind of surprise. According to the certification, the Galaxy S26 Pro and S26 Edge are officially capped at 25W charging, while the S26 Ultra stays at 45W, exactly the same numbers as last year and the year before that. No upgrades, no hidden improvements, just the same speeds we've been dealing with since the Galaxy S20 series. For a moment, let that sink in. Six generations later, Samsung is still using the same charging strategy. And here's why this matters. Charging isn't just a number on a spec sheet. It's something that affects you every single day. Picture this, you're about to leave for work, your phone's at 8% and you have 10 minutes before you have to run. If you owned one of the latest phones from Chinese brands like Xiaomi or Realm, you could plug in for those 10 minutes and walk out the door with 70, 80% battery, enough for an entire day. But with the S26 Ultra, you'd barely crawl up to around 25, 30%. That means you'll still need to charge at work or worse, carry a power bank. And here's the plot twist that makes this sting even more. Even Apple, the company that usually takes its sweet time with upgrades, has now bumped up to 40W charging with the iPhone 17 Pro series. When Apple, the king of playing it safe, is catching up, it makes Samsung look like it's falling behind. Now, Samsung would argue that this is intentional. They have always been focused on battery health, safety, and longevity. They don't want your phone battery degrading after a year because of excessive heat from ultra fast charging. And yes, that's a valid point. There's science behind it. The faster you pump current into a battery, the hotter it gets and the more stress you put on the cells. But here's the thing, many competitors have already figured out ways to manage heat, use multiple cells, and optimize battery chemistry to make super fast charging safe. So Samsung's slow and steady wins the race, Approach is starting to feel less like innovation and more like hesitation. And it doesn't end there. This charging situation also ties into a bigger frustration fans have been voicing that Samsung isn't pushing the hardware envelope as much as it used to. Look at the cameras. For multiple generations, Samsung has stuck with very similar sensors, relying on software tricks and AI to squeeze out better photos. Yes, the results are still great, but hardware upgrades excite people. New sensors get fans talking. And this year, with the S26 Linup, we might get some design tweaks and AI-powered surprises, but the charging situation casts a shadow over those changes. But before we get too negative, there's still a silver lining here. Samsung isn't just sitting still in every area. The S26 series will be powered by the Exynos 2600s in some regions, and a custom named Snapdragon chip in others. One that early benchmarks are showing to be a monster. We're talking serious performance jumps and potentially better efficiency, which might mean slightly better battery life. That could help offset the slower charging times, at least a little. And then there's the design. Leaks suggest Samsung is making some bold choices this year, including reshaping the camera housing and refining the overall look of the Ultra. AI features will also be a big focus. Think live call translations, advanced photo editing, and generative AI that works offline thanks to on-device processing. These could end up being the real selling points of the S26 series, making charging speed feel like less of a deal breaker for some users. But here's the cliffhanger. Will that be enough? Because the smartphone market in 2025 is not forgiving. People have options. If Samsung doesn't deliver a wow factor in other areas, fans might finally say, enough is enough, and move to brands that charge in under 30 minutes, offer fresh camera hardware every year, and still cost less. So here's where I want to hear from you. 
Is Samsung's decision to stick with 25W and 45W charging a deal breaker for you? Or are you okay with slower charging if it means your battery stays healthier in the long run? Drop your thoughts in the comments because this is one of those topics where everyone has a different take and I'm curious where you stand. One thing's certain, Samsung is taking a risk here. Whether it pays off or backfires completely will depend on how good the rest of the S26 experience is. And as always, I'll be here breaking down every leak, every rumor, and every surprise leading up to launch. 